Hi students, good morning. Have you done previous class homework and completed that page? Page number 92. I told you you have to complete that page number 92. Today we are going to do page number 93. Question number G onwards. Look question number G. The cost of LED TV 5747 less than laptop. What do you mean by less than? Less than means you have to minus. And the cost of laptop is 36,589. This is the cost of laptop. Cost of LED it is not given. It is given as less than the laptop. So again we have to find the what is the total amount for LED TV and laptop. Look how to write with the steps. You have to write in your CW students. First write the question. Then word sums neat and clean. First step cost of look here the cost of laptop cost of laptop what is the cost of laptop rupees this is the symbol for rupees 36,589 this is the cost of laptop then second step the cost of Cost of LED TV. LED TV. How to find out the answer? 36,589 minus 5,747. How do you know it is minus? Because it is given the word less than. Less than means we have to minus. More than means we have to plus. So look here. 36,589 minus which number 5747 now 9 minus 2 7 2 here is 4 15 minus 7 8 and here is you can write as 5 5 minus 5 0 30 30,842 is the cost of LED TV. Now our answer is over. No. What then? Find the total amount. Total means what you have to do? Yes. Plus cost of laptop plus cost of LED TV. Then look here. One answer is not over. You have to find the both cost. You have to plus it. So therefore total amount paid. Total amount paid. Then, what is the cost of LED TV? 36,589. This is the cost of laptop. Then, cost of LED TV. Already we done the subtraction. Are you remember the number? Yes, 30,842. Total means both we have to plus it. 9 plus 2, 11. 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 3. 5 plus 8, 13 plus 1, 14, carry 1, 6 plus 1, 7, 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 6. This is the total amount they paid. Once more look here, first step is cost of laptop. Second step is cost of LED TV that both you subtracted. Total amount means both you paid. This is the amount they paid. Now, we are going to write next question. Look here, question number. What is the next question number? Look your book, all my dear students. Look the question and read the question. Find question number H. Find the products. Find the products. P R O D U C T S. What do you mean by products? Yes, products means multiplication. I will show you one question. 134 multiplied 207. Yes. In last year in fourth class you have studied one digit, two digit, three digits. This is how many digits numbers? Three, three digits number. So you can find the products. Once more product means what you have to do students? Multiply both number together. This is the symbol of multiplication. 207 multiplied 134. If you can write first this number also, both you will get the same answer. 4 7s are 28. What is the carry? Carry is 2. 
four zeros are zero, zero plus two, two, two four are eight. Then what are you remembering? Yes, you have to put here cross multiplied or you have to put the symbol zero. Then multiplied with the next three, three sevens are twenty one. What is the carry again? Carry two, three zeros are zero plus two, two. Two threes are six. See how it is written here. Next, you have to multiply it with one. Here, put the cross sign. Here, also put the cross sign. Seven ones are seven. One zero are zero. Two ones are two. Now we have to plus it. There is no number you can write as here. Zero also, students. Here is eight. Two plus one. See. Three eight plus two ten ten plus seven seventeen carry one six plus one seven here is two. Listen, students. After that, you have to check once more. Always mess if if you are doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, anything, any operations, you have to check at least two times. So four sevens are twenty eight carry two four zero zero plus two 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 four are eight. Then multiplied by three. Three seven. First you have to put the here ones place cross sign. Three seven is twenty one. Carry two three zero plus two 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 three is six. Now multiply here ones place and tens place zero. Seven ones are seven. One zero zero two ones are two. Then you have to add it. What is our answer? Twenty seven thousand. Seven hundred thirty-eight. Now look, students. Question number two and three. Both it is given same like multiplication. You have to do as a homework. It is easy, no? Yes, you are studying. We know already. Our what is the name of the chapter? Revision. That means you already you are studied in the last year. Now look here. Next question. Look here. What is the next question? Question number H I. Question number I. Karuna saves. Karuna saves. Karuna saves. Rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty. Rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty every month. Every month. Every month, how much she will save in two years? How much she will save in two years? Now look here. Read the question once more. Karuna says rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty every month. How much she save in two years? You know. Here is given years. Here is given as month. You know, one month how many? One year how many months? Yes, one year is equal to twelve months. Why we are converting into months? Because she saves one thousand seven hundred fifty in one month. We have to find the answer in two years. So we have to convert year to months. One year how many months? Twelve months. So therefore, two years. Two years. Can you say two years how many months? One year twelve months. Two years? Yes, very good. Twenty four months. Twelve multiplied by two is equal to twenty-four months. What two year? Twenty-four months. No. A money she saves in a month. So we are going to write the steps. You can write money amount. Money she saves in one month. Is equal to rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty. She saves in one month. So how many months she is going to save? Twenty four months. Therefore, this is a symbol of therefore. She saves in how many months? Twenty four months. Look here. Here written month singular. This is twenty four. You have to write as months. Therefore, she saves in twenty four months. One thousand seven hundred fifty 
multiplied by 24. You are going to do multiplication. If there is, teacher is going to multiply it here or here. Can you able to see here now? Yes. Look here. 1750 multiplied by 24. 4 fives are 20. Carry 4 zeros are 0. 4 fives are 20. Carry 2. 7 fours are 28 plus 2, 30. Again carry 3. 4 ones are 4 plus 3, 7. Now look here. Again you have to put here. Ones place. 2 zeros are 0. 2 fives are 10. Carry 1. 2 sevens are 14 plus 1, 15. Carry 1. 2 plus 1. 2 ones are 2 plus 1, 3. Now look here, 0, 0, 0, 242,000. How much she saves in 12 months, 12 months? You can write here, multiplied by 24 is equal to rupees 42,000. One small look here, 1 year, 12 months. 2 years, here there is no years, here years is written. 12 multiplied by 2 is equal to 24 months. Money she saves in 1 month, 1750. Therefore, she saves in 24 months, 1750 multiplied by 24, 42,000. Then you, this is our answer. Understood? All the steps you have to write neat and clean. If multiplication you can make their boxes and you can do it. Now next two steps. Look here students. Next two questions. Look here book page number 93. Read the question. All the students read the questions. Question is given. J divide the following. Look here, J. Divide the following. Divide the following. You have studied last year now division. Yes. Are you remembering the division? How many digits division you have studied? One digit? Two digit? Yes. Up to three digits you have studied. Now, look the first question. 1918. Yes. 1918 divided by 8. This is here 1, 10, 100,000. 4 digits divided with 1 digits. Look here. Are you remembering what is it called? It is called dividend and this is called divisor. Say so once more it is called dividend and divisor. 1918 divided by 8. Are you remembering 8's table? Say 8 1's are 8, 8 2's are 16, 8 3's are 24. So 24 is greater than 19. So you have to take how many times? 2 times. It is written here 2. 2 8's are 16. Now look here. You have to do subtraction. 9 minus 6 3, 1 minus 1, 0. Next number you have to write here, 31. Now, 8 table, how many times? 8 fours are 32 is greater than 31. So, you have to, how many times? 3 times. 8 threes are 24. Now, 31 minus 24, here is 7. 2 minus 2, 0. Now, next number is here. 8, 78. We know 8 nines are 72. 8 nines are 72. 6 here 0. This 6 is called remainder. 239 is called device quotient. Look here. Q U O T I E N D. Quotient is equal to 239. After each division, you have to write quotient and remainder. Now, remainder. What is the spelling of remainder? R E M A I N D E R. What is the remainder we got? 6. 
once more 1918 is called dividend and this 8 is called divisor our answer is called quotient q u o t i e n t and this last it is called remainder and students now look here teacher is shown one example and two more questions are given that you have to do as homework b and c you have to write as homework first you can practice in the rough copy and after that you have to check it then you have to write neat and clean in your cw now look here each question teacher is showing only one one next to two is the homework division multiplications everything all the students if you forgot the multiplication tables you have to practice it again now look here next two questions k questions question number k look here 24 apples packed in a box 24 apples packed in a box in a box and how many boxes will be needed to pack 4800 48 apples all the students read the question again 24 apples packed in one box how many boxes needed to 4848 apples so look here you the we know it is a word sums and you have to write with steps first steps what is the first step can you say what is the first step last year you are studied now how to make the steps as a yes very good number of apples packed in one box look here solution number of apples number of apples packed in one box a box means what students one box one box how many apples sir 24 apples then how many apples are there total so second step is total number of apples total number of apples how many apples are there 4848 then see our question how many boxes needed how to find the answer how to find out multiply divide yes you have to divide so look here third step therefore number of boxes number of boxes how will get the answer 4848 divided with 24 for number of boxes 4000 a total apples are there 4848 one box there is 24 apple you have to find out how many apples you required now look here you are going to divide here 4848 divided by 24 you know how to make that table sir you have studied no last year up to three digits yes 24 ones are 24 24 twos are 48 now you are doing see, look here what is the next number 4 can you divide 4 with 24 no then what you have to do yes you have to put the zero here you should carry next number 48 already you know 24 two times it is 48 now look here what is what is our answer 202 so is equal to 202 so number of boxes 202 all my dear students you have to complete your cw up to question number k and you have to let those who students forgot the tables please le, revise the tables and learn it okay see you again in next class bye